What's going on everybody welcome back in this video I will be teaching you how to properly port forward your server this could be any server but we're gonna be focusing on a 5m server a lot of people request this a lot of people have issues with this so I will be making an updated version on how to properly port forward there's a couple of steps that people always forget and that is why they always have issues with this so the few things we're gonna be doing is when you go on to can you see me dot org is where we check to see if our ports open a lot of you always have issues where your port doesn't open up that's perfectly fine I will show you how to properly do it the first thing we'll be doing is in our router is port forwarding it to do this we have to find our IP if you are unsure how to get to your port forwarding section in your router go to this link it will be in the description and just simply select your router let's say we have a comstar close out of this and then select your model it will step by step walk you through how to port forward with your router so again go to your description go to that link and just simply select what router you have if it's not on here message them or try to google how to port forward with your specific router but every router should be on here so let's go back to ours. We have to find our IP. So what we're going to do is go our search bar and type in CMD. Bring our command prompt. Now you're going to type in IP config. This command will be in the description for you to copy and paste into here. Hit enter. It's going to bring up a bunch of different ones. Mine will be blurred out, but the one you're looking for is your IPv4 address. That's the one you, you will be using. So go ahead and highlight that and copy it. I said mine will be blurred out, but that's the one you will need. So now we're going to close this out. We don't need it anymore. We're going to go ahead and open up our port forwarding again. And we're going to add some things. Leave the top alone for me. All you need to do is your services. We're going to call this 5M. Our port range, we're just going to type in 3120. That's what the default port is for 5M. You type in that IP address we just used and then the port once more and hit and then you're gonna select TCP and hit confirm we're gonna do this one more time 5m our port is 120 3120 our IP our port one more time and then we're gonna select UDP and hit confirm and then go ahead and apply that is how you port forward with my specific router from spectrum Again, if you have any issues, just go to open port. They will walk you through how to do it. My IP will be blurred out, but that's how you port forward with your router. Nice and simple. So we're going to ahead and close this out. Now what we need to do is port forward with our Windows Defender. I recommend not having any type of aftermarket virus scan program because it will be a pain. You can allow th these things through firewalls but there's always issues so if you have any type of virus program delete it and just use Windows Defender if you plan on doing this if you d do have a virus program you wish to keep you're going to have a hell of a time trying to figure out how to allow the connection sometimes it's easy sometimes it's a pain but it always seems to give issues so if you do have a virus program just delete it use Windows Defender it works great and you never have issues so what you need to do is go ahead and open up your control panel. So to get to your control panel is rather easy. Just right click on here and go to, let's just go to apps and features, whatever. Go to home and we're going to be here. So what we're going to click on here is update and security and then Windows security. Open Windows security firewall and network protection and then fire advanced settings yes that should pop up this window here this is the one you're looking for okay we went through a couple different things there, so just go ahead and go back and watch it slowly make sure you click the same things we need to go to inbound rules and outbound rules this is where we're allowing our port through so go to inbound rules hit new rule make sure you select port next TCP type in 3120 next allow the connection select all three next 
And we're going to name this 5M UDP, I think is the one we used. Let me go back and double check. TCP. So we're going to name this TCP 5M. TCP and hit finish. Now we need to create this one more one more time with the UTP. So port next UTP. Type in your port next. Allow the connection. All three of them. And now we're going to type in 5M UDP. And this is how you port forward any port. So if you have a different port you need to open up, you simply follow the same exact steps. <clears throat> now you go to outbound rules and do the same exact thing one more time. Port, next, TCP, our port, next, allow the connection, next, next, 5M, TCP. And you can name this anything you want. I just named this that way, you know what it is. Create one more rule for UDP, 3120. And if I'm going through this kind of fast, just slow it down, go back, rewatch it. UDP and finish. So this is where a lot of people leave off. And that's kind of working, but there's one more thing you need to do. Windows by default likes to mess with you. So we need to go to network connections. It pops up this right here. Go ahead and click properties on your connection. And what you need to do is right here, your network profile is by default on public. It hides you from the network. What you need to do is make it private. That way other people can discover your PC. This is a lot of issues people are running into. They are having this on public and nobody really talks about it. You got to make sure this is on private. If it stays on public, you will not be able to port forward. And again, down here, you got your IP addresses. Mine will be blurred out. But that's pretty much it. Now we port forward it. But because we don't want to give out our IP address to everybody out in the Internet, unless you trust them, I mean, it's up to you. We're going to use something called a no IP. First, what we're going to do is go to port checker. Let's see if our port's open. So we're going to head and check port. And guess what? It's probably going to say connection timed out one more time. The reason that is, is because we don't have anything defying that port. So what we need to do is you have to make sure for it to work, your server has to actually be running. So give me a second. Let me open up my database and start it up. That way my game works. I am working currently on making an ESX game f version for you guys. As you can see right here, it's loading up. So once I have that fully completed, I will be releasing that to you guys as well. But now that our server is open and we hit check port, as you can see, success. Port is open. Your ISP is not blocking port 3120. And that is how simple it is. It's not hard. The reason people always mess it up is because nobody ever talks about making your network private. And that is the most important part. Without that, it'll never work. But again, we have our IP addresses and we don't want to hand it out to anybody. So an awesome tool to use is we're going to close out all of this is no IP. What it does, it makes a different IP to, that masks your IP that you can hand out instead of your actual IP. So we need to go ahead and just make an account, log in, and then go to your account. It'll look something like this. Cancel. So what we're going to do is create a new host name. So we're going to name YouTube test .ddsn.net and hit add host name. And there you go. It's been added. So now we go to active things. It says right here. It shows our actual IP address, our public IP address, and then YouTube test .ddsn.net. So what you would do, you would be handing this out to people to log into the 5M or whatever you want. So you don't have to actually hand out your actual IP address to the public because you don't want to do that because that just leaves you vulnerable to hackers and people messing with you and it's never good. So this is the perfect way around it. Just simply make it no IP. But for this to actually work as well, we have to download no IP. So go back to their website and go up to the top and hit download. Download now and then just simply install it really quick. We're going to walk through. So I agree, install. I'm going to close this back out 
And we're gonna go ahead and finish this. So now all you need to do is log in. Again, mine will be blurred out. And is refresh now. Oh, save. There you go. Must have clicked it. And now it says right here, we're connected with our IP address being that. So that YouTube test.ddns.net. That is now the IP address that you can hand out to people to connect to your server. And that's it, folks. That is how easy it is to port forward with Windows 10. If you have any questions or run into any issues, make sure you go ahead and add me on Discord, and I'll try to help you out as best as I can. But until next time, see ya.